when it was up top. Johnson first, Ken's at second with a push from Gordon. Oh, Kane! Kane gets around, slides across the track. Dylan misses him. More carnage down toward turn number one. Montoya, Harvick. A real low apron. All with damage as the caution comes out. Well, Keelan Harvick is not Dad's good luck charm today. Casey Kane, the blue Chevrolet number 18. Yeah, the 18 uh, just got down on that inside, caught the left rear corner of the five car. That's a real vulnerable spot and uh, gave him a little tap and sent him a sailing. What a close call for Joey Logano in that 22. He was all the way, way down in the grass and dodged it. Yeah, these guys on further down the track, uh, they, they really got in it afterwards uh, when people were slowing down. Kane sideways, comes across the nose of Montoya. Logano and, misses him. And, and Daryl, that was coming out of that trial over where you're running so fast with very little banking to hold you. Somebody got into the back of Kevin Harvick's number 29, sending him down and then up into Stewart. Let's ride along in the Budweiser. One car down, spinning Trevor Bain up to the wall, collects another. That is Carl Edwards. The fifth wreck that Edwards has been involved in this spring. The 34 of David Reagan involved, and that's the 35 of Riverside, California's Josh Wise. We're under caution for the fourth time today. Something happened to a car going into turn one as if it just, I don't know who it was, you'll have to take a look at it, but they lost it going into turn one. See Austin Dillon there in the 33, damage to the front end, Trevor Bain, we mentioned him in the 21. Terry Labonte in the 32 car as well. Josh Wise all torn up and his teammate in Front Row Motorsports, David Reagan and David Gilliland. My goodness, all three of the front row cars of Bob Jenkins taken out in this pileup. Let's see what happens here. I'll, I looked up, I think I'll fire in front of him behind him. 27 is the first car out of line in front of him. Oh. Hold it, hold it, no caution. Caution is out. Caution is out. Caution is out. Here's Brad Kozlowski on the outside of Carl Edwards. Rudeman just ahead. Let's see what happens here. I looked up, I guess it was the two car I saw going, it looked like he was down on the apron sideways. Ooh, it looked like possibly. But it looked like they started a courting up in front of Brad Kozlowski. Very the two. similar to what we saw at the start of the race, Larry. Just uh, somebody slowed up a little bit and it caused that accordion. Caution. Jeff Burton and his cat Chevy have pounded the wall, leaving Scott Speech out on the racetrack. Excuse me, we are still green. I said, yeah. no and now it's out. out now on the front stretch. I knew something out was now. going on. Uh, uh, Mike, I looked down there and they were all three and four wide. I said, man, we're a little early for that, but uh, the caution was out. Perhaps the lead. He got hurt in about and oh, by the way, it's not over. It's just now. It's just now on. Daryl, keep an eye on Dale. Oh, car in the wall, hard. Turn one. And it's one of the BK cars. It's the 93 of Travis Quap. No caution. NASCAR, if the track is clear, they will let them finish. We are still green. Here and here comes the leaders. Jr. Yeah, Mark Martin is really pushing Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that 88. Jr. to the inside of Greg Biffle. The green flag still flies. Martin's number 55. Keslowski in the two. Biffle backing up. Patrick behind him for the second time. The Daytona 500 goes to Jimmy Johnson, five-time champion from Oklahoma, California, and his Rick Hendricks Chevrolet. David Pearson, Dave Marcus, Dale Earnhardt, and now Jimmy Johnson. Flap, back of the pack wreck. No caution thrown on the part of NASCAR. It is their discretion, figuring no serious danger to anyone on the track and letting them race to the end in the 55th running of the Daytona 500 as Jimmy Johnson winning for the second time. He led the last 10 laps, led a total of 17 laps, and was steady all day. His fastest lap coming late in the race. Steve Burns is with Jimmy in victory lane.